So in the series of learning programming in C, we are discussing pointers in C. We have discussed some basics about pointers like what is pointer, declaration, initialization of pointer and we have also discussed like how to use those uh, operators uh, with pointers like address of operator and indirection operator or you can say dereferencing operator right with proper example or you can say a program. So in this video I will uh, see, I will talk about one more uh, you know, thing that is pointer assignment means you can say how to assign value of a pointer to another pointer right we will see that thing with example or you can say with a simple program here right and I'll show you practically also on my laptop. So now let us discuss how to assign a pointer value to another pointer. See here I am taking suppose uh, two uh, variables and values same a, b is, a is equal to 10, b is equal to 11 and I am taking here two pointers p and q, two pointers I am taking right. So it means we have a in memory we have b suppose address is 1000, address is 1046 maybe. A is having value this, B is having 11 and one more thing we have pointer P, we have one pointer Q and suppose address of this is maybe 2000 or maybe 3000. In P and Q we are not having anything, means P and Q are not you know pointing to anything, we haven't initialized these pointers, right, these are pointing to unknown locations, right. Now see, <coughs> here see this, this maybe you are, uh, in the previous video I have told you this asterisk is what indirection operator means it will give value at this address but here in this line when you write data type this asterisk and p it means here this will tell the compiler that this is pointer here it is not acting as indirection operator or dereferencing operator because here we are declaring pointer. So it is going to compile that it is it would be a pointer P and Q are pointers because we are using this asterisk sign here and they are going to contain address of integer data type right I hope you got this please do not get confused with this that, that here also it is acting as indirection operator and it will give value at this address no because here we are declaring it right. So now <coughs> see if I write like in P I am storing address of A. So address of A is 1000, in P we have 1000, now P is pointing to A, right. Here if I write something like this, like Q is equal to P. Now what does this mean? <laughs> Whatever the value in P, it is correct in C, right. It would not be illegal. You can use assignment operator something like this with these pointers. So now here what would be the case? Whatever the value in P, P we have 1000, that 1000 would be assigned to Q. So Q is this and this 1000 would be assigned to Q. It means Q is also pointing to A now. Both the pointers are pointing to A. So if you will print like printf value of A, if you will print something like this printf A is equal to percentage D, simply you can write either A, this will also give you what? 10, right? Or if I write here I am writing percentage D and one more percentage D, 3 percentage D I am writing because uh, you know three, using 3 methods I am going to print D. So first percentage D would be replaced with this A, whatever the value of A. Now asterisk P, next is asterisk P, next is asterisk Q. Now here this is acting as indirection operator, A it will give what? 10 right value phase 10 asterisk p means value at this address in p we have address 1000 value at 1000 is 10 so it will give 10 in q also we have 1000 q is also pointing to a so value at 1000 is 10 so it will also give 10 right so this is what assignment this is how you can assign but if, if you write something like this if i write asterisk q and here also asterisk p right so here obviously this will give right maybe it will not give any error or maybe it will give error or warning this this kind of thing why so because asterisk q means here we have declared this pointer asterisk q means value at this address but we haven't initialized this q yet in q we don't have anything here now here in q we don't have anything q is pointing to we don't know any unknown location, we haven't initialized Q here, but we, we are going, we, we want to access value at this address. 
so in q we don't have any anything so what would be the value at this address we don't know we are going to access what illegal point uh, memory location so it will give some error right or maybe you can say maybe it will give like your program dot uh, exe file whatever you will name that file dot exe file has stopped working this kind of thing or maybe it will give some error right you can try it at your own so now before using this thing we have to initialize this queue in queue suppose i am i am going to store address of b now address of b is 1046 now q is pointing to b right yeah yes now you can write this thing but now if you write this thing then what will happen see this is the case now here whatever there asterisk of p means asterisk of address of p means address of a address of a is what 1000 means in p we have address of a so whatever the value at 1000 that is 10 so here we are we are going to access this value that is 10 and this 10 would be assigned to where asterisk q means value at this address asterisk q asterisk q is q is in q we have 1046 means value at this address value at this address at this address is 11 means we are going to access this one now so this 10 would be assigned to here now at 11 we have at the place of 11 we have 10 because of this line so now here in this case we are accessing the values in the previous case we were accessing the pointers right these are these two are different things you have to take care of this thing now here in b also we have 10 right so now if you print this thing then a would be 10 asterisk b would be in p we have 1000 value at 1000 is 10 10 would be printed asterisk q now in q we have address 1046 at this address also value at this address also we have 10 so 10 would be printed at the both the cases now we have 10 so i hope you got the difference between this and q is equal to p so now let me show you this thing practically on my laptop okay now let me create a file first of all pointer assignment in dot c right i'll take this header file now main function and here i'm going to take two variable int a is equal to 10 and uh, i'm going to take uh, b uh, is equal to suppose 5 right and two pointers p and q right now in p i am assigning address of a right and i am writing here q is equal to p right so now just print print f a is equal to percentage d and uh, slash and i am writing here or maybe in the same uh, line using these method three methods i am going to print a value right so now first of all we will write a then i am going to access with you using that um, p pointer and next using q pointer right so let me save it and run it it should print value of a like 10 or they like, see three times a is equal to 10 10 10 i mean this a is 10 value of this asterisk p whatever the value at this address in p we have address of a that would be printed in q also we have now address of a because we have assigned q is equal to p right now if i write here this asterisk q and asterisk p and now see now uh, see uh, let me run this what error you will get see now see it is giving like this uh, exe has stopped working because here what you are trying to do and it is not giving any output we haven't initialized q and we are going to we are we, we want to access that content which is you know the, that memory location which is pointing by this q but q is pointing to unknown location we haven't initialized it right so now this would be illegal so first before using asterisk q we have to initialize this q q is equal to address of suppose b right now now see before using this line now if you want to print asterisk q 
then a would be 10, s to p would be 10, s to q would be 5. Let me run this. See now, first a 10, s to p 10 and then 5 because s to q, q is pointing to b and b is 5, right. Now I am writing here s to q is equal to s to p. So now at the place of this 5, what you should get? 10. See, here also now we have all the, at the 3 places we have 10, 10, 10 because that value 5 has been replaced by 10 here that we have discussed, right. So, I hope you got the difference between q is equal to p and s trick q is equal to s trick p, right. So, please uh, you, if you use these kind of thing the pointer then, then uh, you have to be very careful while using these symbols like especially this indirection operator symbol, right. And see here uh, uh, one more thing I have told you like if I write f l o a t float pointers are of type float and I am assigning p is equal to this and q is equal to this right and uh, suppose I am not writing this line. Now let me run this program and what output you will get see this is incompatible pointer type because here this line will tell that pointer p and q will contain address of float data type but here p is containing address of a and a is int. So, that would be incompatible right and q is also containing b address of b and b is also int. I hope you get, got this we should be very careful while initializing like this pointer about this data type right it should be int here right or maybe here if you write float that would be fine right. Now let me run this and see what it is giving. Here it is giving because a 0 and this kind of thing because here we are printing it with percentage d for float we should take percentage f right and now let me run this. See 10 point this, 10 point this, 5 point this after point it is taking 6 uh, digits for precision in float it takes 6, six uh, digits right. So, I hope you got this that is it, uh, it for this video now. So, from the next video we are going to see the, the, those arithmetic operations or pointer right. So, now I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care.